All I gotta say is, he's not at OTAs right now. I better not see him at the Minnesota Timberwolves game later on tonight in Minnesota. Micah Parsons is MIA to start the second half of OTAs for the Dallas Cowboys. All right, before I get into this, y'all be sure to subscribe for your boy. I know some of y'all been enjoying the content. Y'all click into the videos almost every single day, but y'all haven't subscribed. A large percentage of y'all are still not subscribed to the channel. Please hit that button for your boy so I can continue to grow the community. But Micah, Micah, Micah. Now I had a conversation with someone yesterday and I'm not gonna name who that person is cause I don't know if they want their name attached to this conversation I'm about to bring up on this particular video. But I had a conversation and one of the things we brought up was the fact that we feel a lot of the times there's people around these players, specifically with the Cowboys players, just with the with the gravity of, of the celebrity of each of these players on this team, it attracts people that only wanna tell them things that they wanna hear or people that only want to tell them things that they feel like would make the player want to interact with them. Meaning they aren't going to necessarily go against the grain with any of these guys and say what they need to hear sometimes. I see way too many fans, specifically Cowboys fans, and, and we can see a comment right here. I know Ernie don't be meaning no harm, but he just so happens to be right here. So I'm going to give this as a perfect example. I see too many fans doing this. Micah has his reasons. We fans should trust him. Let's stop this. Let's stop this. If we're gonna hold one player accountable on this team, we gotta hold everybody accountable on this team. If we had a guy that wasn't putting up the type of numbers that Michael Parsons is putting up, and he wasn't necessarily meeting all of his obligations or doing the things that he should be doing that would make us feel like that he's being a good teammate or a good team member or a good leader if they're supposed to be playing some type of leadership role right j ron curse was looked at as one of the leaders on the team if we saw j ron curse not doing leaderly things people would call that out regardless of whether or not he's a superstar or not right i gotta be honest man micah parsons has to have better situational awareness man now, y'all got on to me because y'all felt like it was unfair for me to criticize Michael Parsons for playing Buddy Buddy with Anthony Edwards of the Minnesota Timberwolves, even though it spawned posts like this where the Minnesota Timberwolves are at Michael Parsons and shaking, giving them a little handshaking emoji. Like one of our guys, one of the Dallas Cowboys is rooting for the Minnesota Timberwolves against the Mavericks, but that's neither here nor there, bro. But I'm, I'm telling y'all, bro, y'all don't be listening. Either way, this is a season. This 2024 season is going to be make or break for the Dallas Cowboys in several different ways. We have a offensive line that is still going to be engaged in a position battle, essentially. And we have Brock Hoffman being the ultimate teammate at OTAs, the ultimate teammate. And he's competing for his spot. And he's still helping bring along Cooper Beebe at OTAs. So even guys like Brock Hoffman are putting their full foot forward and trying to give their full effort and full dedication to the process, to the process of building a championship contender. The biggest issue that we have identified with the Dallas Cowboys is not about talent. It's not about coaching mostly. It's about attitude. It's about the culture. It's about the mentality of the team and whether or not they're going to get bullied and the thing is, you have to build an attitude. You have to build culture. And for that to be built, the people that are going to be charged with building that have to be present. Dak Prescott is in the middle of heated contract negotiations right now, whether they actually started or not. It's heated in the media, at least. He doesn't even have a contract guaranteed with this team for next season. And he's at OTAs, voluntary OTAs. Nine, ten years in the league, he's there. You have pretty much everyone else there outside of C.D. Lamb and Michael Parsons, essentially. But you have pretty much everyone else there outside of the two guys that talked on the podcast when the offseason started about trying to step into more of a leadership role. Now, I get it. With C.D. Lamb, at least his is more timely. His is, is more relevant as far as his contract status and him having to maybe potentially hold out to force the Cowboys hand and let them know like, hey, give me my money. 
But I still think that CD is going to end up getting his contract pretty easily as soon as we see some of these other guys get signed. The Joneses are going to ink his deal. But at least CD contract is actually due, right? Michael Parsons, his contract doesn't have to get done this offseason. If he tries to hold out, or if this is holding in, or if this is trying to send a message to the Joneses, or whatever it may be, it makes no sense because you're trying to skip the line. And this is, again, showing that you're not being a team guy. And I understand Zach Martin did this very thing. Zach Martin did this very thing last offseason where he held out because he wanted a new contract or he wanted his contract reworked. I understand that. And Zach Martin has a track record. He has a, an established history of being a certain type of guy on this team and playing a certain role in this team and playing at the top of his position consistently and not at all being part of the reason that we look at this team and say they had suffered any failure okay Michael Parsons still has a lot to prove he still needs to establish himself as a leader on the defensive side of the ball and I get it y'all life ain't fair Okay, we don't look at Zach Martin holding out the same way to Michael Parsons or looking at a Michael Parsons potential hold up, but it's different scenarios. This season is widely looked at as a make or break season across the board for a lot of people, even though I believe a lot of these contracts are going to get done and some of the urgency of this season is going to get tapered off a little bit. It still is looked at as a make or break season for at the very minimum, the damn coaches. And you will want all of your guys being bought in. And no wonder Mike McCarthy is feeling some type of way. He said, Michael Parsons is not at OTA today. Mike McCarthy doesn't seem happy about it. I wouldn't be happy about it either. If my best players, my guys are supposed to be stepping into a leadership role in a year in which I'm fighting for my life for with my job, they ain't here. At a time when we got a ton of new faces, a ton of young guys are gonna have to step up and step into prominent roles and, and contributing positions on this team this season, that's going to have to happen and your best players aren't there. No, I am not crucifying Michael Parsons for this, but I am saying, damn, at some point, y'all, we can't continue to be like, oh, it's Michael. He, he had 13 sacks. Forget everything else that he's not or is doing. He had 13 sacks. At some point, somebody needs to keep it real with this dude. If you really love someone, then you tell them the truth. Somebody needs to be able to keep it real with him. Like, hey, bro, you got to have a little bit more situational awareness. You may be getting a little too involved in the celebrity of being a Dallas Cowboy. I don't care what none of y'all say. Michael Parsons has went on a celebrity tour greater than that of any Dallas Cowboy I have seen in recent memory. And that is a fact. And there's nothing wrong with that. He's capitalizing off of it. He's a savvy businessman. But it does get to a point where you have to take a step back and be like, damn, bro. Where is your focus, really? You're not showing up at the football stuff. Even though it's voluntary, I get it. There's young guys there that need you, that need your presence, that need your energy there, that need to be around you, to get to know you, to understand who you are, bro. All of those moments are precious, especially when you're supposed to be one of the people that's trying to set a tone or establish some type of leadership within a room. You have to to be there man and i don't care what y'all say i know i know y'all want michael parsons attention so bad i know y'all want dallas cowboys players attention so bad y'all want their approval but at the end of the day these dudes don't only need to hear what they want to hear these dudes need to hear what needs to be said as well micah you can't lead anybody if you don't even know the guys that you're needing to lead that's part of why it's important for you to be there. That's why guys like Dak Prescott are such good leaders because they're around the guys that they need to lead to know which buttons to push to get the most out of them, to understand what makes them tick, what motivates them, how to handle them, handle them softly or handle them roughly. You need to be around people to understand how to do that, bro. And my only point is, you can't sit here and say on one hand, I'm taking my responsibility and stepping into a leadership role super seriously. But then on the other hand, every opportunity you're given to lead, you're not there. Voluntary or not, you're not there, bro. I don't know, man. I, I I know everybody is very hesitant to criticize Micah, but my thing is like, why? Why? What's going to happen if you're like, yo, what's going on, brother? 
we 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 rock with you. We support all of your endeavors. As Cowboys fans, we gonna lock in. We gonna tune into your stuff, bro. But can you at least make the optics of what you're doing with the team look right? That's all I'm saying. The optics need to look right, man. You can't be out and about and getting seen at all these different games and doing all these different interviews and these shows, and then you're not showing up at OTAs. And it's like you're not showing up at OTAs because you want to do that stuff. I'm, that's, that's a real conversation, y'all. This is a real conversation. And this, to me, is going to play a large part in this season. Not necessarily what he's doing in the offseason right now, but just the mental approach. The mental approach this team has is what's going to make or break this season. If they come back mentally stronger and tougher and, and really trying to enforce the culture and attitude that they want to build, then I think that we'll see a game team. We'll see a team that's not going to roll over in big games. We'll see a team that looks prepared to play in big games. But if we're doing this whole 53 brands thing and everybody's just looking out for building their own start and you got this guy doing this podcast, this guy doing this and this guy doing that and this guy wanting to rip the runway and this guy over here wanting to get seen with all the celebs. And you, if we got everybody's focus spread, I'm sorry. Y'all can't convince me that these dudes are serious about their goals for the football team. There's guys in competition all across the board. There's new faces all across the board that need to see their best players there with them. And that's just what it is, bro. I don't care what y'all say. Y'all can get mad and get upset all you want. I just need to tell y'all this. Y'all saying nice stuff and, and, and getting on your knees for every single player in every comment section is not going to make these dudes show up to your birthday parties, your bar mitzvahs, your sweet 16s, your quinceaneras. It's not going to make these dudes follow you. It's not going to make these dudes invite you to their houses. It's not. It's not. So it's okay to be realistic with them. It's okay to give them reality. It's okay not to just be a yes man and just say the stuff that you think that they want to hear. Sometimes the thing these dudes want to hear the most is the damn truth from somebody, bro. If nobody's told Michael Parsons the truth yet, the truth is, bro, you're making power moves financially, economically for your life. Kudos to you, bro. But your social awareness and the perception that you're creating around yourself I don't think it's all that positive, bro. I just don't. I just don't. I don't think your social awareness is where it needs to be, man. And that's just that's just me being completely honest. But either way, we still them same old cowboys. And I'll see you guys on the next. Calling me, texting me, paging me, asking me, am I still the ball? Y'all use the check on me. Listen, 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 listen. I'm still the boys. Hey! Woo! Hey! 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 Hey!